Alright, what else do I need? Oh yeah, how are you doing, Tully? You alright? No. Any pain in your arm? Don't worry about it. You did the right thing. I was pretty messed up. I would have shot that prick. He took my gun. He took my gun for fuck's sake. Well, I, def I definitely don't want to encourage him. Well, let's tell him about our little discussion in the kitchen. I've just been accosted by Alistair. Al and Nova didn't say a thing to defend me. They're decent people. Al and Nova, I mean, not that jerk-off. But I think they're even more afraid than me now. And I'm terrified to the bone. Still, it doesn't matter anymore. We got shafted. That thing will come for us when the storm peaks. You don't think there's anything we can do? Zippo. Alright, what exactly is the thing? Tell me about the monster. What do you think it is? It's the dragon. Like in the Book of Revelation. Like the one in the final battle of Armageddon. In my dreams, it's always hungry. And the dragon, it doesn't eat like we do. The more it eats, the hungrier it gets. And then it'll eat the whole world. Okay. Uh, tell him about Nova. Nova's been having dreams too. I spoke to her last night. I know it shows on her face. And you too. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Maybe she's not that icy after all. But it's a real shame. You two would have been real happy. Tell him about Al. What I don't understand is why Al sided with Alistair. He's all chummy with Bob, so I guess that's why he's going easy on Alistair. But he's a good man, the Wiz. Yeah, I guess he's just trying to keep his job and please the asshole. Alright, tell him about the article. She has an article about the thing out there, but she won't give it to me. Just get it yourself. I'd have to break into her room. Do you fear more than the dragon thing haunting us? Do you have a master key? I have some blank keys. Old and shitty warded locks here. Maybe you can make your own master copy. Okay, I guess I'm going to be breaking into her room. Although I guess if I'm using a key, it's not really breaking, right? Just unauthorized entry, I guess? Alright, I'm definitely not going to encourage him, so end discussion. I see what I need to do. I guess I need probably need to get the article before I go. Need the oil probe, the tranquilizer rifle, and a rope. Turn the blank. Uh, I'll use the blank key to get into Nova's room. Okay. Blank key. A roughly shaped station key. Okay. Well, I know there's like a. Yeah, there's a press drill, but how do I know exactly what to cut it to? Hmm. Wait, grinding machine. It's not possible. What equipment do I have? Gasoline. Hmm. See, when I read the review for this game, that one review, it mentioned... It only mentioned one ridiculous puzzle, and it said there was a ridiculous key puzzle, which is what I'm now doing. So, I'm strongly suspicious that whatever the solution is going to be, it's going to be really stupid. But, before I do that, let's just grab the tranquilizer rifle. Grab some of my equipment. I need rope. Is this rope? Yep, rope. What the heck is this thing? Was this always sitting here? Oh, oil probe. Okay, grab that. I think it looks like it weighs about 50 pounds. But, I guess I'll shove it in my pocket. Alright, that's all the equipment I need. Oh, there she is. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do I have to, like, use stone putty and shove it in the lock or something and then use that to get the reading for the key? Would that even work? Well, I can use it. But use it on what?
Hmm. I think I am going to have to use that, but I'm not exactly sure how. Can we talk? I'm not really in the mood to talk right now. Or you just don't want to. I'd like to be alone now, Lil. Okay, bye. I'm just going to go on my trek with 5,000 pounds of things on my back, my weapon and my oil probe. Oh yeah. It's going to be quite a hike. All right. Well, obviously shoving the mask, the blank key in isn't going to do anything. Wait a minute. Hold on. Aren't there keys here? Aren't there keys on the bulletin board? Station key, station key, station key. Keys to different areas of the station. Can I take them? Oh, that one's garage, laboratory, and the hell is this? Wait, can I actually do anything with them? It doesn't appear that I can. What is that for? Alright, well I can see they're... You know, the notches cut out of them. But how the hell would that tell me what to do? I can't use any items on them. Can't observe them, can't do anything with them. What am I doing with that putty? I can't take it with me. Better not take it anywhere. That doesn't work. Hmm. I mean, can I just use the machines right now? No. What if I just try to enter her place? I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Nova. I, I already know she's not in there. How is this supposed to work? Roughly shaped station key. But I can't use it on these here. I I mean, I have all the ingredients for the puzzle, right? I have the roughly shaped blank key. I have the drilling machines and stuff. I have these keys, and I have the, uh, the putty. I just don't know how to bring it all together. What am I doing with all of these things? Well, since I already know this puzzle is supposed to be stupid, I think I'm going to reach for the walkthrough pretty soon, but not just yet. Let me just make sure there's no, like, new items sitting around. Nope. Nope. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Empty case. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Anything in the fridge I could use to get a key? There's milk. Vegetables. Nope. Empty cases. There's more beer downstairs. You get to drink one per night. Company policy. Alright, well, I have no idea what to do. Again, I have all of the ingredients, but I just don't know what to do with it. Oh, 
Wares, nope. Rusty barrel, nope. Don't need to lug gas around. Nope. Do you have any tips for me, Tully? Tully the fake Irishman? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Anything down here? Sacrificial anode, can I actually take that? Nope. Well, since it's firmly secured, can I take it off? Can't think of any use for it. Yeah, indeed, I can't. Don't need it, don't need it, can't use it. Hmm. I've got to use this putty, but... With what? I'll use it on everything, just for the hell of it. Alright, fuck it. Walk through. Walk through time. Here we go. What will the solution be? Nova's birthday cake, blah blah blah, absinthe fire extinguisher, helicopter arrives, nightmares, day three, and yep, 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 a blank key. Uh, check the station keys on the bulletin board. The three keys are made up of pins and spaces that make nine parts. The only common part of the three keys is the middle one with spaces on both. Okay, so you're looking for similarities between the keys, that's great, but what do you actually do with that information? Wait. You've, it says use the multi-tool on the blank key. What? Huh? The fuck? The multi-tool is able to cut out perfect notches out of metal? What the f... Does the multi-tool include some sort of a high-powered laser beam? What? It's a fucking key. It's not like a key analog. It's not made out of putty. It's metal. Probably fucking steel. Or whatever they make them out of. The, the, what? No reason they describe this puzzle as stupid. That doesn't make any sense at all. I never even considered using the multi-tool on the blank key because why would it do anything except to bend it? But apparently I'm cutting notches out of it. Okay. I'm not going to use the walkthrough because now I know what to do. Kind of. Unless I can't get the pattern down. We'll see. Alright. Supposed to look at the similarities. Three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hmm. Nope. Nope. One, two. Nope. This is... Alright, so one, two, three, four. Fourth notch from the top is out on all of them. Hold on. This doesn't even make any sense. I'm pretty sure keys aren't designed this way. This is really stupid. Fourth notch is out on all of them. Fifth notch. Fifth... Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth notch is there on all of them. Six. Two, three, four, five, six. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Out, out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth is out on all of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, wait, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is not there. Never mind, not similar. Eight. There, there. 
Wait, there, there, not there, not there. Oh, so wait, that's the only similarity? It's just those three notches? That can't be. That's too simple. One, two, three, four. Four notches out. Fifth notch is there. Sixth notch is out. That's it? That can't be right. No way. No fucking way. Doesn't fit. Surprise. I can figure this out, but I'm tempted to use a walkthrough just because it's so stupid. Mm. Let's see if I missed anything. Two. Nope. Three. I'm just gonna use the walkthrough. This is stupid. This is so dumb. Well, it looks like I can't put it back, so let's hope I don't have to go get another master key. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, remove one, two, three, four. Leave five untouched. Leave five untouched. And then remove everything else. What? Are you serious? How would that... Leave five untouched. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Look, uh... I don't know that much about locks or keys. But I'm pretty sure this makes no fucking sense. Okay, great, whatever. Ooh, and now I get to be a creepy voyeur and explore her apartment. Holy shit, that... Bed covers actually, or blanket, is freaking beautiful. What is that made out of? Is that like a bunch of sewn together little blankets? Well, I came for the article, but I'm afraid I'm gonna look at everything. Electric radiator powered by a genset unit, yep. Bed. Nova has the coziest room here, no surprise there. Trunk. There's a padlock on it. Ooh. Let me guess, it's in there. And it needs a pass? Yep, of course. A four-digit combination lock, the numbers are probably something easy to remember. Alright, books. Generic romance novels and a few works of Umberto Eco, whoever that is. Mirror. She has gone through the trouble of bringing a mirror here. No one else dares look at themselves. Window, nice curtains. Oh, are those little snowflakes? Dreamcatcher. The spider web in the middle is supposed to catch any inbound harm. Well, <laughs> that didn't work too well last night, did it? Books, biology, and natural history. Alright, anything I've missed? Poster. A poster for a native art exhibition. I just had an idea, but it seems so stupid that I think it might actually work. Something easy to remember, four digits. The only thing with digits in this room that I can find is this. New York ex uh, Exhibition 2009. And there's a mirror there, which makes me think maybe it's reversed. Let's try both. Is that really the solution? I would be damn surprised. Okay, 9002. Whoops. Okay, apparently it's not that stupid. Hmm. 
Wait. This, these are two. Let me just check something. Okay, no, that didn't work. Alright, not that stupid. Hmm. I'm guessing the thing on the corkboard out there, her uh, birthday card? Maybe her birth date? Something easy to remember. Well, her birthday would obviously be easy. Let's just hope the solution is not hidden in the part of the note I can't read. That would suck. Well, ooh, there's a date. 2811. Okay, 2811. Yeah, I think that's probably it. No? Okay, reverse 1182. I was just thinking reverse because of the mirror, even though it probably has nothing to do with anything. Uh, 1182. Whoops. Mm, nope. Wait a minute. Oh, god damn it, do you have to. Fuck. I've been assuming this thing would just pop open, but I think you have to actually try it, don't you? Unless maybe it would make a click. Hold on. 2811. No? Okay, maybe 2009 was it? Maybe reverse was it? 9002? The fuck is it? Something easy to remember. Two, eight, eleven. Wait, wait, that's not her birthday. What the fuck am I thinking? That's not her birthday. That's the day it was sent. Well, shit, how old is her? Uh, how old is she? Alright, well, we remember... Okay, I think I can kind of read this. We remembered it's your birthday tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the... The fuck does that say? Post... This... Something you return? Before you return? We remembered it's your birthday tomorrow. Hopefully... Something post whatever. Hopefully they get this to you before you return. Something like that. Well, I'll miss you and wish you were here. Okay, but how old is she? I need to know how old she is. I don't think this says. Okay, well... Remember, it's your birthday tomorrow. So obviously, it's the day after this, and then minus however many years old she is. But how do I find that out? Well, I wrote down her uh, the date that that happened. Um, maybe Al will tell me when she was born. Where's Al at? Oh wait, actually, no, he's not in there. He's in the kitchen. After the previous comments, there's nothing I want to say to him. Of course. Of course. Well, great. Uh, 
Honestly, I have no idea. She won't talk to me, right? Maybe he'll talk to me? Hey, crazy dude, can you please tell me how old she is? Nope. Please talk to me. Can we talk? I'm not really in the mood. Nope. Or I'd like Well I'm shit out of luck. I don't think anything here tells me how old she is. Nope. I mean, hell, she might have even told me her age. Or someone else did, and maybe I just don't remember. But that would be stupid. Fuck it. Using a walkthrough. <laughs> God, I didn't think I'd have to use a walkthrough so much for this. Recall that Nova's birthday was yesterday? Yep. Recard, uh, remember the birthday card in the bulletin? Board? Okay. Wait. And then it says the password is 0209. Are you fucking kidding me? O two oh nine. She didn't enter in her birth date. She entered in her birth week and month. The fuck? I thought I was supposed to find out how how old she actually was and go back in time to her actual birth date. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Why would you do that? That... okay. 0208. Or what was that? 0209? 0209. I mean... I've never in my entire life heard of anyone or seen in any adventure game people use their birth... Uh, week? Or their birth day and month. Instead of their full birth date, you know, it's it's usually either, uh, like, the day, the month, and the year, or just the year, right, for a four-digit combination. Who the hell uses their birth day and month? What? And to make it all the more confusing, it's... They made it so it's so easy to see that it would be a four-number combination if you cut off the zeros, right? Like, it's 02 slash 08 slash 2011. So it's a pretty common thing to say, like, you know, 2 slash 8 slash 11. Four-digit combination. They could have avoided that conflict and made me realize that that wasn't the answer if they simply made one of the numbers be two digits. You know, like, 0, 02 slash 10 slash 2011. Then it would have been five digits if you cut off the extra zeros, and I would have realized it's not the combination. So what the fuck? <sighs> This game... Fucking adventure games, man. I love them and I hate them. Was it, uh... Oh, no, it's, sorry, O2. O2, O8. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. <sighs> bra. <laughs> what, can I steal her bra or something? Oh my god. This feels so wrong to be looking through someone's luggage. Ugh. Those are nice. <laughs> uh. Let's see, I think that's... Yep, just the only thing. It's the article. Would it go myth? It has to be this. All right. Oh, 
Uh, let me get out of here before I read the article. I don't want to be caught in here. Okay. Alright, this is probably... I think maybe I should read this when I'm at the dig site. Eh, what the hell, let's read it now. Okay. Chapter 10, The Wittigo Slash Ashton Myth. There exists a culture-bound condition among Native American Indians in the Esquimo... Esquimau? I don't know. In which a person is driven to a psychotic state? Huh, that's what's been happening here. In many of these cases, the individual becomes convinced he or she has been possessed by the Wittigo, the personification of the horrors Extreme Winter, and they... Wait... The personification of the horrors Extreme Winter? Is that supposed to be the personification of the horrors of Extreme Winter? And they engage in cannibalism? There have been numerous documented cases, as late as in the beginning of the 20th century. The cause of the condition is widely disputed, but it's been suggested that it is triggered during the early stages of a developing mental disease. A burning sensation similar to the pain caused by a frostbite and delusional thoughts of the presence of an extreme evil are described. Some scholars categorize them with night terrors, uh, such as tingling and evil presence occurring in the Western cultures. Okay, that's exactly what people have been experiencing. They've been feeling like they're going to be attacked by something. They've been exhibiting psychosis. Huh. But it says... It has been suggested that it's triggered during the early stages of a developing mental disease. Well, there's no way everyone has a mental disease. <clears throat> The Greenland, the Greenland Eskimo believe that Whitico is a primitive chthonic god in a world that preceded the coming of their pantheon. It is said to be skeletal and deformed and to be missing extremities. In some legends, it has a frozen heart and glowing red eyes. In general belief, Whitico has a singular hatred towards humanity that stems from the actions of humans. It is said to be a bitterly lonely creature trapped in a Boreas, a region of remote icy fells behind the northern lights, unable to descend upon Earth without possessing living beings. Hmm. The Esquimau believe their ancestors can be seen dancing in the sky. This might mean their malevolent spirits can also be seen. In primitive times, the tribes of Greenland relied upon their ang... Oh, fuck, I can't pronounce these words. Their shaman <laughs> for appeasing evil spirits, similar to the Wittigo. For Esquimau, nothing between the earth and the sky is bad, but there are spirits that should be feared because of their hunger for hatred. From time to time, the Western psychoanalysts have been interested in the Whitico psychosis. Some scholars see it as a testimony of an impersonal potency buried deep inside us that is instinctively hostile to human life. Inuit shaman exercising spirits from a boy. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, time to go. Oh, whoops. Went too far. Well, this is one hell of a crevasse. Damn. <clears throat> There's the flag he put down. Al's flag. This is the place. Darkening sky. Night is coming. I need to hurry. I sure hope I don't get trapped out here in the dark. That would be terrifying. Alright, aren't you supposed to attach the... Oil probe to the winch. Yep, there we go. An instrument for collecting oil samples. There's an empty sampling unit screwed to the top. Alright, let's use it. Use the remote. It only it has only three buttons, up, down, and release. This I can handle. <laughs> I sure hope so. It's not the right time. Okay, why not? Crevasse. Raw oil glistening down there.
What, should I go down there first? It's not possible. That won't work. So, why is it not the right time? I need to use the winch to descend. What, you mean like I'm going with the winch? Oh. Okay, I just tied the rope to the oil probe. Attach it to myself? Is that how you're supposed to do it, I guess? That does actually make sense, doesn't it? I mean, I mean you have the remote control for the winch. Uh, yeah, I guess that does make sense. I'd never considered that before, though. Alright, let's go. I can't move. <laughs> Am I trying to get myself killed? Al was right. Crevasses are dangerous even to seasoned climbers. Alright, I guess I need to put these on. There we go. Now can we go? There we go. Holy crap, this is quite the cave. Alright, well I guess you should take the oil sample before I do anything else. Let's push that thing down or whatever. Alright, I guess I use the remote. Excellent. Done. It's firmly secured. Alright, well with that done. Wall. The permafrost here is rock hard and glassy. Alright, let's go inside. It's awfully dark. Wait, a cup? There's a cup? An eons old stained ceramic pot. Damn! This place should be a dig site. This needs to be reported to someone. Okay, well, I obviously need to make a light. Yeah. And I happen to have a lighter and I have some oil available to me and a ceramic pot. I think I need to get some oil. Wait a minute, can I pick up the pot? Nope. Am I seriously about to put, like, oil inside of an ancient ceramic pot and light it on fire? Isn't that kind of like desecrating an artifact? Alright, can I get some? I think I need oil, don't I? Oh, okay, I took the probe off, okay. Am I seriously about to do this? Dude! This is a dig site and that's an artifact, and I'm about to set an artifact on fire. I mean, I know it's not going to ruin it, but surely it's going to change it, and that's kind of bad when you need to look at it for evidence of what happened in the past, right? <sighs> okay. Cool. That's permafrost. This tunnel was probably formed by water a long time ago. Cup. Uh, same description. He appears to have no remorse for the fact that he's burning oil in an artifact. Oh, I have to do it again. You know, there might have been traces of whatever they used to put in there to burn, which could tell you stuff about, like, maybe the vegetation at the time that these artifacts were used, but now that you've just lit gasoline on fire inside of them, they probably can't do that now, can they? Good job. Oh, shit. Whoa. Mural. Ancient symbols, like on the hide. I wonder how deep in Al went. Well, I wish I had like a smartphone to take a picture of this. Or, you know, just a camera, anything. Video camera, even. Alright, let's take a look. 
Looks like it's painted in blood. East Island Tribe, the same symbols that were on the hide. Right, so this is the East Island Cannibalistic Tribe. Symbol 4. This one looks like a mutilated corpse. Ew. I'll check the cave first. Alright, I guess I'm probably going to be interpreting these at some point. Symbol 3. An elaborate symbol, almost like two shapes to on top of each other. Symbol 2. It's a closed shape. Is that ice emanating from it? Symbol 1. A humanoid shape. Maybe emphasis on humanoid and not human. All right, let's go deeper. Okay, I see some, like, bones on the ground. Does anyone else get the feeling that as soon as I light this on fire, I'm going to see, like, a million bones? Like some great vast pit of death? The fuck... Tuna Juke. Okay, well, it's not a pit of bones, but it is a bunch of bones, and it looks like there's a... a throne. Is that an idol for Ashton? I have to find out what the mural says. Bones. Human and animal bones. Some of them have been carved and marked like the ones Al brought to the station. Walls. What made the walls curve like that? Good question. I see seat. It has weird proportions. You mean the seat or the body that appears to be in there? Hmm. Alright, well, let's get interpreting. Hopefully this one isn't a big bag of fail like last time. Alright, so I know what this is. This is the East Island Tribe. Yep, mutilated corpse. Okay, so now I know the text is definitely relevant. Just based on the last article. And now I have this article, so this is probably relevant. Possessed by the Whitico. Alright, do any of these symbols look like it? The mutilated corpse? I don't believe they do. So let's go with a couple of guesses. At least it looks like a mutilated corpse. Let's do that. Nope. Cannibalism. Wittigo. Oop. The dark shape of the hole in place of the heart. It's the Wendigo. The Wendigo. Okay. So that's the thing that possesses people, correct? Whitico, Wendigo, I guess it's the same thing. <clears throat> In many of these cases, the individual becomes convinced he or she has been possessed by the Whitico. It's a personification of the horrors of extreme winter. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I've looked at the walkthrough again. I, I want to get the satisfaction of solving these myself, of course, but... These puzzles are just... I'm sorry, they're not well designed. The idea of having to type in what you think a symbol means and having to do the translation like that is very cool. However, it doesn't, it, to, it totally falls apart when you're so ridiculously specific with what words that you require that the user doesn't know if they're on the wrong track or if they simply typed it in wrong. And in this case, I often know exactly what these mean, but I'm just typing in the wrong words, just like last time. For example, the only one that I got on my own is this one, the very last one, Whitico, or the Wendigo, whatever it's called. <sighs> okay, so I was looking through this article, and one of the things I saw was, uh, in primitive times, the tribes of Greenland relied upon their Angakuk, or however you pronounce that, shaman, for appeasing evil spirits similar to the Whitico. So, Angakuk. I thought, okay, well that's a shaman. This is the only other humanoid shape. So maybe this is Angakuk, right? And I, I wrote it down so I know I was spelling it right. 
doesn't work. But guess what? I completely understand what that's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. The only problem is it doesn't recognize the, the actual proper word. And Gokuk, you actually have to type in the simpler word, shaman. It has to depict a shaman with elaborate headgear. In other words, it rewarded typing in the simpler word, but completely neglected to mention anything and provide any sort of feedback when I type in the more complicated word that means literally the same thing. Literally the same thing. And Gokuk, shaman. So the basic idea of these translation puzzles are perfectly fine, but they need to add a bunch of all-encompassing words to describe these concepts. Put both shaman and angakuk. Hell, throw leader in there at the same time. Something like that. So as for what these mean, I don't know. Here's my guess. I think one has to do with cannibalism and possession and pain, and I think this might be like a frozen heart. I've already tried that, though, and guess what? What do you bet that I'm probably half right and it just turns out that I was entering in the wrong words? I don't know, let's find out. Symbol number two is a closed shape with possible ice emanating from it. It looks like the icy seat in the other cave. Type in throne. Okay, never mind, apparently it's a throne. Oh, but I actually already thought of that off camera and tried to type it in, but apparently I used the wrong word. I don't remember what I used, but I didn't use throne. I believe I used, uh... Didn't he describe it as, like, a... Uh, what was it? Not an offering, but, like, a... I don't know. Whatever. Throne. It has to symbolize a throne dedicated to that creature. And what is this one, walkthrough? Tell me. Like, two shapes on top of each other. I was thinking possession, right? Two shapes on top of each other. Possession. Remember the Whitaker article? Um, type in Boreas and then click suggest. What? Boreas? Hold on. Where is that mentioned? I know it's mentioned in here. It's location. Boreas. Boreas. It's said to be a bitterly lonely creature trapped in the Boreas, a region of remote icy fells behind the northern lights. So how am I supposed to know that? Oh yeah, squiggly line plus another line means trapped behind the Boreas. Okay, sure. Whatever. The plain behind the northern lights. Boreas. Shaman throne Boreas Wendigo. They tried to summon the Wendigo down from the sky. And why would they want to summon the Wendigo? Isn't it a thing of evil? What the hell? Um, that's not good. I'm glad somebody found me, but who the hell found me? Uh... I'm so sorry. They were gangrenous. 
and beyond saving. You took them, Rune. The Lord of the Winter took your hands. Whew. <laughs> ah, okay. Wow, I'm starting to see some sick shit. Whoa, whoa, what the hell happened? This monitor's broken. Something bad has happened here. Are they in the kitchen? The tensile, it's collapsed. Hello? Anyone here? You want to? Hell, we could just take the skis right now and go. Let's leave them here. I wouldn't try anything. I already said no. What the hell are they talking about? That was Nova and the douchebag. What's going on here? You're awake. How do you feel? Beaten up. What happened? You crashed the 6x6 and almost froze to death. But you're safe now. While Nova was saving your ass last night, Crane went berserk and started to break things. I had to shoot him up with morphine to get him to calm down. But I didn't tie him up. Now he's missing, along with Shaoman. Great. Somehow, this is all you're doing. You also owe my daddy big bucks for that car, so you'd better have some good answers. What the fuck did you do to draw that thing here? You did it. <laughs> uh, okay, what really happened here? Do you want to tell me what really happened here? Tully and Al disappeared, and you heard nothing? That's it. I need to kick your face in now! You spoiled brat! If Rune hadn't been there, Tully would have shot you. People are dying here, and you just keep doing the same macho bullshit! Me and Rune are going to try to find a way out of this. You can take the skis and go wherever you want to. Come on, Rune. Let's leave him be. Nova, wait. Yeah, shove your dick Stop. back in your pants, Please. you asshole. Stop hitting me in the face you with it. You got me all wrong. I want to help you. A hell of a way to do it. I just... I haven't had any night terrors. I don't see this the way you do. You're lucky. Oh, I feel so bad for you. Do you want some night terrors? Fine, I'll give you my horrible dreams. You'll be scarred for life. Oh shit, did he wreck the radio set? Doesn't look like it can be fixed. God damn it. Well, now we are isolated. And we don't even have a helicopter here, do we? We don't. We have no radio. We have no helicopter. We have... The truck is now wrecked. So the only thing we have is the snowmobile and, I guess, some skis? Shit. Alright, what am I doing? Laboratory. 